Hello, I am Garrett Godfrey, and welcome to the Crowdfunding Christian Music Podcast. I have been helping folks find great Christian music for over 25 years, and on this show, I cover active crowdfunding campaigns and pre-orders for artists worth backing and believing in, so that you can find and fund the music you love. This is episode 69, recorded Saturday, August the 26th, 2017. Think of me maybe as a tour guide as we look at some current campaigns including Bruce Coburn, Bill Maloney, The Sycamores, House Project, Matthew Smith, Lori Triplett, Jordan Whitmore, Inheritance, The 77s, We Are the Outpost, Deliverance, Renaissance, and Amari Tones. I hope you enjoy the show. Find something you can get behind and support. I know your time is valuable, and I appreciate you spending some of that time with me. To make things easier to find, I put links to everything I cover in the show notes. And in case you want to go back to a specific campaign and listen again or skip around, I've got the timestamps for the campaigns and music genres in the show notes too. Now before we get into the campaigns, I'd like to highlight something I've had going for a while now, and that's the Crowdfunding Christian Music Facebook group. We've got a great community of over 100 people there and would love to have you as a part of it. So if you want to know about the campaigns as soon as they launch or would like to share one you've discovered, if you want to discuss a campaign or ask questions, this is the place for you. Now, on to the campaigns. We've got a lot to cover here and I've broken them up into three groups. The first group are not worship albums. The second group are worship albums. And the third group are the rock or metal albums. First, the not worship albums. If you love folk music and you don't know who Bruce Coburn is, pause this episode, listen to some of his music, and then come back. If you know and love his music, you'll be excited to know that he is releasing his first new album in six years, Bone on Bone. Bruce released his first album in 1970, and he's 72 now, and this will be his 25th studio album. Over the years, his music has spanned topics from his Christian faith to political and environmental activism. A Canadian, Coburn has indicated that this album has a prevalent urgency and anxious tone. Here's a sample of the song, States I'm In. Ragged winged hawks swooping down on prey, curtain going up on the nighttime shadow play. Seen the sun going down, set the sea on fire, black smoke boiling from burning tires, and bones in the mud was the blood sacrifice required. Ooh-wee, all the sights I've seen, in the depth of the world and the heart of a dream. All the places I've been Each one reflected in the states I'm in States I'm in Coburn is running a pre-order through Pledge Music right now where you can get a download of the album for about $12 and the CD for about $20 but there's also a chance to get a signed and numbered 9 CD box set titled Rumors of Glory through the Pledge Music store The album releases September 15th, so think about grabbing it through the pre-order. And if you love Americana music and you don't know who Bill Maloney is, hit pause on this episode again, head over to Bandcamp, and check out his music. Then come back and pick up where you left off. Be careful, though. You could be there for days. He's put out dozens of albums through the years between his work with Vigilantes of Love, his WPA series, and all his other solo albums. In fact, On the Kickstarter campaign video for his upcoming album, Forest Full of Wolves, he indicates that this will be his 78th album. My wife and I had seen him years ago with the band Vigilantes of Love, and then again a couple years ago at a house show with his wife Mariah Rose, and this guy is the real deal. The album is being done under the name Bill Maloney and the Big Sky Ramblers, and he's described it as a big, noisy Americana rock record. Over at his band camp page, He's got a number of different current versions and mixes 
of the songs as he's recording. Here is a clip of the song Voodoo Inc. Endless War. $15 gets you the download of the album, $30 for the CD, and there are more ways to support the project. This campaign closes Thursday, September 21st. Jessica Kirk and Zach Harold are the Sycamores, an Americana gospel group based in West Virginia. Both of them had grown up with families that had Southern gospel groups that traveled the country playing. Now, they're working together to fuse their Christian faith with the sounds of country, bluegrass, folk, and rock, and they've launched a Kickstarter campaign for their debut album. Here's a clip of their song, The Good Shepherds. So you've got an idea what they sound like. He $10 gets you the download of the album, $15 gets you the CD and that download, $25 adds in a bonus CD of demos and live performances that will only ever be available to these Kickstarter backers. The campaign closes Saturday, September 9th. Husband and wife Dan and Noel from the band Riley are working as a musical duo under the name House Project and have launched a Kickstarter to put out a six-song EP. They'd put out a Christmas EP in 2015, and here's a clip from their song, All Glory Be to Christ, so you've got an idea what they sound like. His will be done, His kingdom come on earth as it Let living water satisfy the thirsty without price. We'll take a cup of kindness, yet all glory be to Christ. All glory be to Christ, our King. And Here's their clip of their remake of Do You Hear What I Hear. Said the king to the people everywhere, listen to what I say. Pray for peace, people everywhere, listen to what I say. What I say, what I say, what I say. What I say. Child is born today. So pray with me. 
$10 gets you the download of the album, $25 for a signed CD and the download, or a signed CD and the Christmas EP on CD, and there's more. This campaign closes Saturday, September 9th. Now, for the worship albums. Matthew Smith from Indelible Grace is putting out a new album titled Quiet Hymns, which looks to be his sixth solo album. Now, he was there at the beginning of Indelible Grace almost 20 years ago when Kevin Twitt was using hymns as part of worship at Belmont University. And he challenged some students to come up with some new melodies for some of these hymns, and Matthew has been putting out great recordings of hymns ever since. As an aside, some of the other alumni of Indelible Grace include Jeremy Casella and Sandra McCracken. Matthew's newest album, Quiet Hymns, finds its theme in Isaiah 30, 15, which reads, This is what the Sovereign Lord, the Holy One of Israel, says, In repentance and rest is your salvation. In quietness and trust is your strength. But you would have none of it. This features ten great renditions of hymns, some that you may know, some that may likely be new to you. Here's a clip of his remake of the hymn, God Himself. And the battle rages strong When the victory seems doubtful Or triumphant seems the wrong God Himself If you'd like to check out an interview I did with him a little while ago about this campaign, there will be a link in the show notes. $10 gets you the download of the album, $15 for the CD and download, $20 for a signed CD and download, and then there are more options available. His Pledge Music campaign ends September 8th, and you can check it out by going to quiethymns.com. Indie pop artist and worship leader Lori Triplett out of Cleveland, Ohio, has an Indiegogo campaign for a new album. She's already put out two full-length albums of her piano-based singer-songwriter music, and now she's working on an EP titled Crooked Heart. Here is a clip of that title track. Crooked little heart, where are you taking me? I don't know these roads, but I don't trust your lead Cause I've been fooled before But I Get the early download of the EP for $10, and this campaign closes Thursday, August 31st, so be sure to act fast. Indie Americana singer-songwriter Jordan Whitmore out of Austin, Texas, is putting out a worship project under the name Eufaula, E-U-F-A-U-L-A, it's her middle name. This album will include original songs based on the Psalms, other scriptures, and her own story. Let's hear a little bit more about it. From her Indiegogo campaign video. In the day of trouble, I seek the Lord in Hey guys, it's Jordan Whitmore, and I'm excited to talk to you about my new worship project, You Follow. So Eufaula is actually my middle name, and I've decided to use it to give this new music its own identity. So for the longest time, I have wanted to put out a worship record, because in addition to being a singer-songwriter and doing my original music, I have led worship through music in the church setting for the past 10 plus years. 
and that's something I love to do and I have a passion for and because of that I've wanted to do my own project. Yeah, anytime I would sit down to try to make this happen in the past it just it never really clicked. It felt a little forced and so I set it to the side for someday. Well then 2016 happened. In 2016 my life changed um, and that's because I experienced some loss that sent me into a season of grief. And this was new for me and oftentimes overwhelming. But it's a season that I'm thankful for, as strange as that may sound, because it's through that season that I found a greater need for God than ever before. And through that, I spent more time seeking Him in His Word, praying and being still and just trying to listen. And those times brought forth songs. You're the God of wonders. You parted. So, Here's a clip of the song, The Tongue is a Fire, from her earlier album, Other Side. It can make you go, it can make you stay, it can heal your bones, it can dig a grave. The tongue is a fire, my tongue is a fire. Inside of your head But they have the power Once they're said to give life for day You can get the early download of the album for $10 or a signed CD for $25. Her campaign closes Thursday, August 31st, so be sure to act fast. And... Siblings Blaine Dunham and Candace Emerson are putting out a worship album under the name Inheritance. Here's a bit from their campaign video about this project. If you're not watching, they're taking a guitar out of the case. Candace and I are siblings. I think that's really cool that we're going in this together. Ever since I was a little kid, worship has had a big impact on my life. I have just felt a freedom in it. It was just like a new world had opened up to me. The one we can frail You've welcomed me to the table. I believe that the Lord has placed music in me as a way to worship Him. There's an anthem that the Lord sings over each one of us that proclaims who we are. And when we see ourselves the way that He sees us, then we can see Him rightly. And through that, we sing an anthem of worship and adoration to Him. No longer I'm a prodigal, you covered all my sin. The one we can pray. This album is going to be a declaration of worship that the Lord will have his inheritance. Now I see the way you see me. And here's a clip of the track Firmly Planted from their campaign page. What can I give to you but my whole heart? What can I bring to you but my whole life? All other things could never compare to you. 
so I lay them at your feet. Ten dollars gets you a download of the album. Twelve dollars gets you the CD. The campaign closes Thursday, September seventh. So act fast. Classic rock alternative band the Seventy Sevens are running a Kickstarter campaign to reissue their nineteen ninety album "More Miserable Than You'll Ever Be" on vinyl. This album was really a micro solo album back when the Seventy Sevens were kind of not a thing for a while, but it's a collection of demos and outtakes and has some really great music. They've already met their fifteen thousand dollars stretch goal. That's going to make this a double LP with some added bonus tracks. Options range from fifteen dollars all the way up to two hundred and ten dollars, and it includes multiple versions of the album on CD with and without bonus songs, as well as multiple variations on、um, vinyl, different colors and such, shirts and more. If you've never heard of the Seventy Sevens, we are going to fix that oversight right now. Here is a sample. Of the song "Miserable," so you'll know what to expect when you back this project. If you're already a '77s fan like I am, or like '90s alternative blues rock, you've got to check this out. But act fast. This campaign will close Thursday, August 31st. Australian alternative band We Are the Outpost just launched a Kickstarter campaign for a five to seven song EP, and I've got a couple clips to let you know what they sound like if you're unfamiliar with their music like I was. The first is from a short live mix of the song Reckless Love. And that's actually on their、um, campaign page itself. So I'm going to play that for you. Second clip is from their song, "The Motions," and here's here's that clip.
download version of the EP is about $12, and they have other options as well. That campaign closes Thursday, September 7th. Jimmy Brown from Metal Band Deliverance has launched an Indiegogo campaign to redo the 1995 concept album Camelot and Smithereens. This will have all new voiceovers, plot, and storyline, as well as a book to go with it. Initially, the campaign only had two levels. $49 $49 for a digital download of the album, the music, the story, the PDF, the artwork, a digital copy of the book, and a shirt. The other level was $99 for a DVD, a hardcover book, poster, the music CD, the story CD, and the shirt. And I guess they got some feedback from fans, and they added a $24 level for the music CD. It also includes an autographed photo and a digital copy of the book. Indiegogo is actually pretty terrible about not disclosing actual end dates of a campaign until it's down to a week or two. So for now, all I can tell you is that I'm guessing it closes around the middle of October. Renaissance, spelled R-E-N-A-S-C-E-N-T, describes themselves as a blackened, symphonic, melodic death metal band originally from Helsinki, Finland, now located in Indiana. They've got an Indiegogo campaign to put out their album, Praise to the Lord God Almighty, on CD, and they hope to get it remastered from what's currently available on the digital version at their Bandcamp page. It's $15 for the CD, and you can check out all the songs on the project at that Bandcamp page to see what you think. But if you're interested, act fast. This campaign closes Sunday, September 3rd. And it's long been a thing for Japanese folks to get excited about American heavy metal. But now is your chance to get excited about Japanese heavy metal. Amari Tones are a Christian heavy metal band from Japan that are putting out a concept album about Japanese Christian history. And they've launched an Indiegogo campaign to help fund it. Indiegogo seems to indicate it closes in mid-September, but doesn't show the exact date at this time. I've included a link to their Bandcamp page in the show notes so you can check them out. And that's it for this episode. If you back any of the campaigns or if you just want to help them spread the word, be sure to let folks know about these campaigns before they close. And if this is your first time watching or listening, thanks for checking it out. If you've been with the podcast for a while, a big thank you to you. If you want to ask me a question, send me feedback, or tell me about a campaign, you can reach me a couple different ways. Just pick the one that's easiest for you. Over on Facebook, you can find the Crowdfunding Christian Music Podcast. Just message me. Follow at the other CCM on Twitter. Shoot me a tweet. Or you can email me, feedback at crowdfundingchristianmusic.com. I would love to hear from you. If you liked the theme song at the beginning of the show, it's Hypostatic Union by The X Structure out of South Africa. All of their music is Name Your Price over at Bandcamp right now, so be sure to check them out. I'm Garrett Godfrey, and I want you to remember, great music doesn't just happen, so get involved. <laughs>